So in today's video, I'm going to be painting on my clothes. I really hope you enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to thumbs it up and also subscribe if you're new here because I'd love to see you again. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The very first item that I'm going to be sprucing up is this bag which I got off eBay. It's obviously been really loved and I thought I'd recycle it and spruce it up, give it a new lease of life. I just thought it'd look really nice with some Van Gogh sunflowers, bam, right on there. So after I did the primer, I then drew onto the bag with a purple pencil. The reason I wanted to do this Vincent bag was because Vans, the shoe company, came out with this really cool collection of shoes and hoodies and just loads of stuff with Vincent's paintings on and it looked so cool and it was just like, oh, I need these in my life. So I just went ahead and made my own, as you do. I used a really small brush, it kind of helped me with my accuracy. So yeah, it's really cool that I've got a Vincent bag, I really love this so much. Oh my gosh, it turned out so good. And I'm surprised. I can just imagine myself like, hey everyone, I've got my Vincent bag on. And this bag I actually got from an eco warrior off eBay. And it feels nice to kind of recycle things as well. I don't mind it being a little old. In fact, I kind of like that. I like stuff with a bit of history. So I'll make the final touches of this one and then show you how it looks. And then I'll go on to my Frida Kahlo jacket that I'm going to make. Yee! So exciting! Now I'm going to be painting Frida Kahlo on this old H&M jacket that I found on eBay. If you haven't heard of Frida Kahlo, she was a really interesting, strong-willed Mexican woman and her paintings are just amazing. They're quite surreal, but Frida always said that her paintings weren't surreal, they were paintings of her reality. She also had a pet monkey. Like, that's really cool. I'd like a friend with a pet monkey. Frida would look really nice with a golden crescent surrounding her but I decided it looked a bit too kind of like old religious images. I wasn't feeling that. I got a baby wipe and wiped it away and thankfully it came off. I don't know how but it did. And then I grabbed a dinner plate and kind of framed it just to kind of give the image a bit more of a stylized finish. The framing style kind of reminds me of Alphonse Mucha. He painted lots of beautiful women, lots of goddesses. So, you know, it's pretty apt that Frida gets a nice Alphonse Mucha frame. I was originally going to paint on a really nice jacket that I found on eBay. It was so, so nice. I was originally going to paint on this jacket. 
but I liked it too much. So yeah, because I liked that one so much and the embroidery, I thought I'd add embroidery to this one. So what I'll do is sew these flowers on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this jacket finished. I didn't really put as much detail into it as I normally do and it still turned out really nice so it's kind of made me feel like maybe I don't have to put so much effort and detail into my paintings maybe I can just like let them um, be a different style maybe or I don't know <laughs> does that make sense I don't know it's been fun to kind of see that I don't have to put 110% in I can put in like a little less than that <laughs> I really like how this jacket turned out and hopefully you do too Let me know in the comments if you like it and if it's maybe inspired you to try this out because I'd be so interested to see if you all like the idea. I had these old shorts in my wardrobe. They had little metallic sequins on them and a lot had fallen off so they didn't look too nice anymore. I decided to peel off the remaining sequins and then splatter my paint all over the shorts. <laughs> For the shorts I mixed up some neon pink acrylic paint with a little bit of water in a jar and I let my wild side come out. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. look loads better than they did before and when I wear them I feel quite sassy. Within. Running around, are we there yet? Music is not where we are 